Hey, welcome back to the DD Performance Research MR2 Squared project. We are currently on day 17 and you are staring at a cylinder head for our 2GR here. Uh, as you can see, the uh, porting and uh, polishing work has progressed quite nicely. The uh, chambers have had a nice little polish here and uh, our intake ports and exhaust ports are done. Uh, the lighting is not entirely optimal. But you can see we've got a nice uh, rough cartridge roll finish there uh, with a little extra uh, sanding on the intakes. And then you have a nice polished finish on the exhaust ports. And that uh, polished finish is there to give a very, very smooth flow and keep carbon from building up. And the slightly rougher finish on the intakes is to keep uh, any fuel from building up on there. It creates a little surface turbulence on the, and a boundary layer on the intakes and uh, it keeps fuel from puddling. So uh, there you have a... Uh, a very nice little look at the uh, finished port job on one of our two cylinder heads. So we'll take a quick walk over here. Got a couple of things going on over here in the fab room. We've got uh, another cylinder head getting close to done. You can see we haven't got the uh, chambers polished, but the, the rough out on the intakes is coming along nicely and the exhaust is as well. And then have our intake manifold. We have that thing sectioned and shrunk down. You can see we've cut a couple of sections out of it and we've started to bevel it right here so we can go back in and do our full fill weld and blending at our new uh, revised length because it is uh, being made to fit a V6 instead of a V8. And coming back over to the car over here and take a quick peek at the current condition of the turbo kit. Now looks somewhat similar to the last time we showed you. Uh, the main difference being that the exhaust manifold has now been completely welded. So uh, places where before you would have seen a, uh, a nice gap with maybe just a couple of tack welds, they are now all completely double pass welded. Real pretty stainless welds down there. And everything is done on the back bank, bank one of the motor. And we will be getting ready to do bank two. But as I said, right now we're working on that uh, upper plenum and we're going to be working on the drawings for the lower plenum to mount up to the top of the 2GR. All right, I think that's it here for the end of uh, day 17. Oh, we did have one last little thing I wanted to show you. Oh, two, okay, <laughs> two things, sorry. Almost forgot. Uh, we are working on the roll bars uh, for the car. So here is our first uh, prototype of a roll bar going to be a dual hoop setup so this is not going to be a proper cage like you would get in a track car because it needs to clear the uh, the seats and of course the top so the top has to be able to come up and over all right and then back down again obviously that uh, convertible top is not the there's not the cover that's going to be staying on the car we've got a brand new one on order um, but uh, that's just to give you an idea that it does in fact clear so within the bounds of what's going to fit there we are going to be build, building some uh, rear supports. You can see we've already done some gusseting and supporting down in the bottom where the bottoms of those hoops are going. And uh, we're just working on that initial shape for the, uh, for the hoops. So that's that one. And then up here at the front, you have our new heat exchanger. So this is from Bell in San Antonio. Really, really nice uh, custom fabricated heating center. We sent them the uh, dimensions that we needed, told them we wanted the Dash 12 in and out, and this is what they sent us back. This thing is the size of some intercoolers, uh, probably capable of seven to 800 horsepower easily um, without heat soak, and then of course, uh, you know, uh, more than that for a limited period of time. So, very, very cool stuff. Thank you very much for joining us for uh, day 17 of the DDPR uh, MR2 Squared project, and uh, hope you all have a great day.